a tweet. I think it was a tweet or just a comment that went viral. And um, it says, it says, imagine your fiance being asked what he loved about you. And the first thing he brings up is your body count, etc. Not your personality, not your loyalty, not your sacrifices to him, but your past relations. Hearing this from a man would not turn me on at all, especially when his past is opposite. Because supposedly he has multiple yeah. baby mamas and shit. So yeah. I think we need to put a little caveat. This is a, a hood dude. He's a rapper. <laughs> like, I mean, not to give him an excuse. Not to give him an excuse, but like, you know, like, I mean, I'm not, I wouldn't be surprised if that's his main priority for the type of girl he's looking for. Like, but Because he's a, a hood rapper, you feel like? I feel like, like, n- well, I shouldn't say because he's a rapper, but like, okay, maybe I shouldn't even say this at all, but I just feel like personally, like, I'm not surprised that that's one of the qualities he thinks is important for his lady. Do you, is that a quality that's important to y'all? Low body count? Um, or not a high body count? Hell yeah. I mean, to me, it matters. <laughs> <laughs> like, if you just out there, you Pumping know. and dumping? Yeah. yeah. You can't be out there flinging the pum pum boy. So it matters. I mean, it's their body. If, huh? Yo, hold it's on, their hold on. Body. You know I'm gonna what? Say this. Right. It's I'm not mine. It's my body, too. Like, if, so how, about how you think she going to feel if you say, if, yo, I got like, to a thousand bodies. I don't matter. <laughs> she don't care. But I'm asking you, how would you feel? She's like, yo, and you really fucking. I ain't saying there's a big. We're having a lot of bodies, but there's a know, big difference true. between the nurse's office and the morgue. Okay. <laughs> I don't get it. <laughs> I don't think I get that one. There's a lot of bodies in the morgue. If everybody, ah, oh, <laughs> the <joke laughs> slow over here. Shouts out to Melody. Shouts out to Melody. Slowy, slowy. <laughs> I'm gonna say this. <laughs> it's not an issue if I never find out. But if every chick had their body count on their forehead, best believe if I see something like I got a question, incredible, Justin. it's gonna like eh, what, what I don't happen, know. What happened if a dude DM'd you like, "Yo, I smashed your shorty"? Whoa! <laughs> <laughs> First of all, I thought that was going another way. <laughs> Secondly, <laughs> what? I would just if that was rant, I would just ignore it. To oh, what honest. if it was multiple dudes? Then that's, I feel like somebody set me up. So you wouldn't think if like, like six dudes DM me like yo I smashed your girl I'm like nah somebody doing something this is weird I'm still ignore it. My thing is why is it so hard for people to accept the fact that guys don't want a high body count when it comes to women like why is it that uh, such a, a crazy thing to because if a girl has a high but only people that's really mad about this to me are people probably with high body counts. Yeah, I mean for me I, a, could, I could understand the other person's perspective like yo you really if you're falling in love with somebody it really shouldn't be about. They're a whole bunch about their physical. Should be about my. Past. It should be about their personality. Absolutely, it, it should, should be, be about their personality, their loyalty. Like one of the main things that you're thinking about their past sex life that's not current with you. If you if a girl boys, smashed five volume, of your boys, if a no. girl smashed five of your boys, so no. different than okay, that's, let's that's not even different. your boys, not even your boys. Not even hold on, hold on, not even your boys. Don't tell me hold on. Like let's that. just say, let's just say she smashed five guys. Five guys that you know of. I like Huh? What? <laughs> I'm talking about the restaurant. What? <laughs> this thing is stupid. Five guys that you know of <laughs> that are in your hood, in your vicinity, and you know of them. That doesn't matter to you? It depends on where I am in my life. Damn. Nigga, it matters, yo. It matters. Because at the end of the day, if you like somebody, you like them. Like, what you going to do about it? Yeah, that is... <laughs> it, is that not true? A lot of people it depends. Overlo- A lot of people overlook certain things because they like a person. It depends on the stage you at with her. If you're not already in too deep, Shit. It's a, it, will, it would affect you. Yet. So, I like, agree. if if I'm within that first year, and I find some shit like that, it's gonna I'm gonna think about how much I'm I don't, into. I don't. I don't think you would. I don't think you would. I think at that point, if you really like her, you you wouldn't. I think you would be like, I, I, at this point, I can't do nothing. Yeah, you would be like. Uh. <laughs> if yeah, I find okay, out, okay. if I'm outside, <laughs> if I'm outside. Uh-huh. Well, first off. When it comes to dating, I don't care about your past. When it comes to your sexual history, like, I don't, you know, medical, you got to be clean. Yeah. You know, okay, a okay. Don't be out here clapped up. But I don't need to know about your body count and shit like that. I'm going to find out based on what you do in the bedroom. What? <laughs> what? <laughs> She'll know if she experienced Yeah, basically. But you're going to assume that she has a high body count. Not that she has a high body so then count. how would you know? I, it, hold on, my nigga. Damn. Damn. Let the nigga talk. God damn. Right. Right. Sorry. Just experience if you're experienced or not. I don't mean like you got a high body count, she but you're could be experienced from one guy though. Thank you. She could. You're that's right. that's very you're possible. Right. So I, I would never say that's a that's a, a thing. But that that's would what make he cares about. So if she's experienced in the bedroom, that's what you care about. No, that's not what I'm saying. 
I'm saying that if you're experienced in a bedroom, then I'm, I'm I can assume like maybe you experience. But that's not. Does like it bother a, you? Does anything no, bother you? No. Okay. Now, if I find out, like, oh, you had that, you at one point you was on a whole block. Like, that, that's something to think about. But if I'm if I'm into you, then it won't, it won't matter. That's an immediate disqualification. If a bunch of my boys hit, of course, I feel like that's immediate disqualification for anybody. But if it's not your boys, like, what if she was a hoe in the past? Like, she was a hoe in high school. <laughs> She in her thirties now. She had a whole face <laughs> in high school. Does that does that matter? Like she's like dope and all that. Then she said, "I got a secret." You know, she's not gonna tell you that. Why would she just come she's out? She's not gonna tell you come out. out and tell she drunk. I'm done. She got comfortable with you. She said, "Listen, <laughs> I had my whole, I had my, you know, back I had my, in high school." If yeah. you, woo! <laughs> all right, let me read some of these comments and then I'm gonna ask a question for y'all. You not gonna answer this question first? Who's what? Did he just have a question? Yeah. What yeah. would you do? Oh, high school? Yeah. Does it matter? Is it a, is there a time frame? Like, I'm if she had right. a whole phase, is it, is it's a time di- frame? It's a difference between, like, when she was in as a adolescent and now as an adult. Mm. If you hoeing as an adult, like, <laughs> stay over there. But, like, everybody got a pass. At the same time, does a high, does a high body count mean that you was, you was a hoe? Yes. I wouldn't say it does. I wouldn't say it means you're a hoe. Yes. You just had a face. It means you've been tossed around. It means you're well traveled. You went flying around. around. (laughs) You well traveled. You're (laughs) my boy extra in the building. What's good? Nigga, don't cut off the shit to chop people up. (laughs) You do it all the time. (laughs) Yeah, you do. Um, Anyways, I think it matters to me, but I don't think it's like the end all be all. Like, there's other factors that. Obviously, come first. Like, there's way more things that are more important than your body count. But, let me but ac- it does. It is a factor. It does play a factor. Let me yeah. ask you a yeah. question. I agree. Let me ask you a question. If somebody asks you randomly, and this is your fiance, what is it? What is it about your fiance that you that you love? Is that first thing gonna pop up in your mind? No. If that was the first thing that I that I liked. So if it no, was, no, I'm asking you, what is the first thing that's gonna pop up in your it mind? It depends on what my fiance is. What I'm I like about my fiance. You what is the? Would that be the first thing that pop up in your mind? No. I've All right, then. There we go. What's your point? My point is I can understand another pers- another person's perspective is saying, like, why is it the first thing to come into your mind about that person? Because that's what he valued the most. That's probably that's probably what made him explore being with her more. Right. right. Her body like he count. found out that she wasn't really out there like that, so he decided to take another step with her, right? So then he found out the other qualities. So he could be answering and saying, the reason why I kept talking to her is because of so-and-so and so. Okay. Right, and you have to understand where he's coming from. He's a artist. He's around a lot of women. Let me finish. He's around. He's, in the, he's, in the industry, he's around a lot of special. women. He's around a lot of women who are doing that, who are jumping from guy to guy. And he found someone who is not. And he's yeah. like, "Yo, this is gold for me. Like, yeah. this hey, is what man. I appreciate." You make from what he all the women that are mad about that stop hating. Oh, right. you know I what's could, funny? I, the common folk in general is like, "Yo, she could." You never know if she's been passed around for the most part. True. Right. If you meet somebody new, you don't know their past. So you looking at them nah, like if y'all from hey, the same neighborhood, you know. But you how like how often Okay, do you other meet than that from the same it, neighborhood? other than that, how else would you know? How often do you meet someone from the same neighborhood? Yeah, like you can meet somebody from a different city. Different I'm saying city. if y'all grow up in the same you area, know. you I, know I mean, if they let's get Let's not talk around. about that. We're talking about just dating dating, dating in general. general. Yo. When you meet somebody, you don't know about their past, you're looking at them her like past, it's, a, it's a clean slate. Yeah, her it's past a clean slate for everyone. Her past is her past. I can't really I can't really worry about what you did back then. If you're continuing those same actions now, I'm probably not going to deal with you. Mm. But if, you know what I'm saying, if I meet you now, I'm not looking at you like, damn, I wonder what her body count is. Mm. No, I never think that. I'm wondering if I can can get next to that body. The first thing I would think about (laughs) to answer your question is how she treats me and how how I see her, how I would see her as like the future mother of my kids and shit like that. Melo, come here. You know them? Uh, they look kind of familiar. Yo, Austin, come look at this. Yo, who is that? Ooh. Yo, Gus, Kyrie. What happened? Yo, look at this. What happened? What? What are we looking at? Who Yo, what's wrong with them? Wrong with them? Who the hell? Oh, I get it. What? They're not subscribed. Ah. Oh. Oh. 